Running your e-commerce business can often be frustrating with many different platforms for ad campaigns, products, and other things. But what today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is the Ecom Boardroom, because this is a platform that takes all of those things, puts it all into one super easy, super manageable space for you to get going. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So this is Boardroom, and as you can see here, we are gonna go into the actual platform itself and how you can use it, because there are some really cool features that have helped my businesses uh, with this platform. But uh, for now, let's talk about exactly what these guys do and what they cater to, and whether that might be something that you want, right? So they've got AI-powered SEO. This is going to help you write articles. I'll actually show you how to do this in a minute, so we won't spend too long on this, but it has a bunch of tick boxes to get you the ultimate SEO score on your blog articles. Then they've got analytics and reports. This could be for your ads. This could be for your Shopify, basically anything in e-commerce, it can track and integrate from different platforms and then actually show you directly on the site all in one place. And then we've got AI generated product photos. So if we did want a photo essentially for our product, we can upload a normal base image and it's going to tinker with that image, give you a bunch of variations in which yes, you'll be able to choose one and use it for your product photo. Then we have the multi-store dashboard. Now this is the best feature from these guys. Honestly, this is why I actually went over to them because you can actually handle everything all in one place. You could integrate Amazon, Shopify, Google ads, and many more different platforms all in one place so you can see all of the analytics. You can also manage from this place as well. So you could tinker with products, you could actually change ads, and you can see everything that's going on from one place, which is great, instead of hopping between tabs and different platforms, and that could actually massively slow down your efficiency. So I love the efficiency of this, with it all being in one spot, so you can manage it all at your fingertips. Then they have customer relationship management, which is actually going to give you a map of everywhere that your customers are looking at your sites and ads and products, all in one spot. It's also gonna give you geolocation on your customers and leads. So if someone spent time on your landing page, you could see exactly where they're from and potentially tinker to those geographics. And then finally, they have inventory analysis. This is exactly what it says on the tin. You can see how much of your products you're selling, how much aren't selling, and really just gauge the metrics, gauge the analytics, and optimize your product and your landing pages to generate more sales. Now, here we are in my dashboard. You can see here our revenue. We can see the different stores that we could cater to. I'm only using Shopify uh, for this example, but we can see here we have our suit store, we have our ski shop, we have our enhanced electronics, all doing pretty well at the moment. If we wanted to implement Amazon, TikTok, other platforms like that, we can do so easily and it will show up here. This is a great way to really just gauge how your businesses are doing, which ones are doing better, which ones are doing worse, and then optimizing off of that point. We can also see our ad spend on the right here, as well as our margins with percentages, net profits, and average cart value as well here from our potential leads. Next, I wanna show you keyword research. This is gonna help you with SEO. It's gonna help you get seen on Google with blog posts and stuff like this. But what we can do here is actually have our target locations. Let's just go with the US here in English and then type in any keyword that we want. So if we wanted our keyword to be skiing, we could type that in press generate here. It's actually going to come up with the best skiing keywords for my business so I can essentially get seen by more people using efficient SEO. So here we can see skiing has come up in a couple sentences here. 135,000 here in monthly searches. You've got your CPC here. You've got ad competition ratings. Obviously, if it's 100, it's bad. If it's a low score, it is very good. Then we have SEO difficulty ranking. Okay, so obviously everyone's going to be using the keyword skiing for ski products so an 87 may not be that good but we can actually click this and see which ones are getting high searches so we could see here maybe ski helmets it's got a super high search rate and the SEO ranking is only 11 we could potentially try that but you can see the ad competition here is a hundred so finding the optimal different metrics here will be more beneficial for your brand so we can see here skiing tips a thousand monthly searches 
Okay, very low CPC, but the ad competition and the SEO difficulty are both super low here. So finding one with high monthly searches, low ad competition, and low SEO difficulty, that is gonna be the optimum keywords that you should be using here. And once we've found one of those, we can then put that keyword inside a blog post. We can see here on the right-hand side. So let's just pick one of these here for this example. Let's go with Alpine skiing with nearly 10,000 monthly searches. Okay, a $1.2 CPC and then fairly mid slash low ad competition and SEO difficulty. So what we can do here is press this create blog post button and we're going to go into this next part because this is super important and it's something that I use basically every day here. So we can see here on the right hand side, we have our keywords, Alpine skiing. We can then choose the topic of our article. So we can say best ski gear for alpine skiing and then choose the tone that we would like here so you guys can't see this but you can do casual authoritative friendly urgent serious or casual and funny for different themes for this blog post let's go friendly and professional here then we're going to go with desired word count let's just stick that at 500 words very easy from this point and then you can add any additional instructions here if we would want to. From that point, if I just move myself over, we can see that we have clear all inputs. We don't like this. We want to start again. Or we can press generate blog post. So let's just click on that and let this thing generate. And this can usually take between 30 seconds to one minute. And as you can see here, we have generated this article, best ski gear for alpine skiing. Then we can go in and actually edit this article if we want. We can also attach products here uh, in this section uh, depending on where we want the products to be. So for skis, if we have a skiing product here, we can actually insert that into the article. We can press this add products button at the top here and actually find any of our products. So we could type in anything here and actually find this. Obviously I don't sell skiing gear, I sell snowboard gear, but we can see just for examples here, we can add this to the blog post. And then if we do look at this yet, yeah, there we go. We have the product embedded right under that. So you could basically put a product for skis, ski boots, bindings, and basically have a product linked to every single section of this article. This is going to help massively when it comes to converting with affiliate links, if you're an affiliate marketer, or if they're your own products, it's going to be the first thing they see in which, yes, they will feel like you're recommending it and they'll trust it and actually convert a lot easier. And on the right hand side here, you might have noticed the SEO score here at the top. This is going to be a score. You want this as close to 100 as possible. And then it's actually going to give you all of these bullet points in which you should add to the article to essentially get that SEO score higher. So if we refresh this now, it should actually improve. Bang, as you can see, up to 82, and that's purely from adding this product. So if we fill this out and actually do everything it asks us to do, then this is gonna be something that we're gonna get a really high ranking SEO article that we can convert people to our business easily with. Now, once we're happy with the article here, we can click publish to Spotify, very easy, and then we can actually choose which store we want this published to, whether it's blog, or news, add a cover image, meta description, and more here to essentially get this on a site of our choosing. And then we have the SEO audit section. So we can actually type in different stores here. Maybe we go with nike.com for an example here. We can refresh report. And it's actually gonna generate a report on those sites. So we can see here, this site has an 89 rating in SEO score and website trust. This is good. So we can run our own site through this and just tinker with the site to get the perfect website trust and domain authority score here. We can also see our backlinks. So if we do have backlinks into various different sites, we can put them all in here. And it's just gonna be something that benefits your business and your sales a lot more having this kind of stuff linked with your products. So that is basically what Ecom Boardroom is. And honestly, guys, I'm never going back. There is nothing as easy and simple uh, as this when it comes to running all of your e-commerce stores online all in one place. Here we can see prices for the solopreneur at $24 per month, which is super cheap considering what you get here. I mean, that's gonna be AI blog creation, AI photography for your products, keyword research as we talked about, and that SEO reporting is gonna be huge for your business. Now you're gonna get all of that up to 100 monthly orders. And if we go over to the next section, this is gonna be up to 500 monthly orders. Now this might seem a little bit weird guys, but 
honestly, if you get 100 monthly orders, you're going to want to upgrade to the 50 a month anyway. Super cheap. You're normally going to make this much money in profit off of a couple orders anyway. So considering these prices, the value you get, I mean, this is super, super cheap. Even 100 bucks per month, I'd probably pay 500 bucks per month if I had to for a product like this, just looking at the value you get. And I should also mention that you get a free trial for seven days if you want to check it out yourself. I would definitely recommend doing that because once I did this, I instantly just paid after a couple days, honestly, guys, because this is something that has just massively benefited all of my businesses. So that is going to be it for this video. Definitely check out Econ Boardroom in the description, guys. Boardroom is honestly one of the best products I have found on the internet when it comes to running my e-commerce businesses. So definitely check them out. Give them a chance, guys, because this is something that I have found massively impacted my business in a successful way. So good stuff there. That's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.